Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to be talking about my triple monitor desk setup that you guys can see over here. I've already done a full video about the construction of this desk and all that and I'll leave links in the description if you guys are interested in building something similar. But I just wanted to explain to you today how this setup has made such a huge difference in my life how it's made things so much more easier to be productive and creative. Let's get into the triple monitor desk setup. The basic idea behind this desk was to make my life as simple as possible when it comes to recording YouTube videos, music production, software development, and productivity in general. So, and especially during the lockdown, this has been extremely helpful. So let me just get into the basic setup over here. So in the middle over here, I have the iMac. This is a 2013 model. It's pretty old, but still powerful enough to run two external monitors. So these are each 1080p Dell monitors. So the iMac itself has a resolution of 2560 by 1440. And then the monitors on the side have a resolution of 1080. Initially, I thought this would be extremely distracting, but it's not really in the long term. And 1080p monitors are a lot cheaper than 1440p monitors. But if I were to do it again, I'd probably upgrade the resolution of both these monitors as well. So that's the basic computer setup. Attached to that, I have a bunch of USB hubs running in the back. I have three external hard disks on the side over here, which I keep to store all my YouTube raw backups, as well as my edited videos on a separate drive, and then a third drive just to do a time machine backup of the whole computer. The iMac is also running off an external SSD because this particular model has a normal hard drive in it. And that has made a huge difference in the day-to-day -day working of this iMac. It is so much faster on a SSD, even though it's external. As long as you have a USB 3.0 port, I think you should definitely install your operating system on an external SSD if you don't have an internal SSD in your computer. Audio device that I use is a really old device. It's over 20 years old now, I think. I bought it when I was really peaking in my guitar playing and things like that. And I wanted to record some stuff with like good audio quality. So I bought this, it's still been working great. And uh, that is what serves as my external sound card or DAC, uh, digital audio converter. And so this has got two lead inputs, which allow me to connect either an, a proper mic or my guitar into this thing. It's also got two audio outputs, which drive these two speakers on the side. So these are the Maki C3 external speakers. They're powered speakers, so they have to have their own power supply but they get all the audio from my M audio device directly out and they make so much of a difference. And I post a lot of my stuff on Instagram, by the way, if you wanna check out some of my guitar playing and stuff, it's on my Instagram channel. It's at Sidswe, S-I-W-D-S-V. Got up in ancient history. I didn't believe in destiny. I look you standing next to me with a feeling. These speakers, when I listen to whatever I recorded on this, it sounds so good. And when you export it on the Instagram and you listen to it on your phone, it's a completely different experience. So the iMac has pretty decent internal speakers, but nothing compared to these external speakers. That is a huge part of any setup. I would definitely suggest getting some kind of external speakers for your computer system. The M Audio also connects to my headphones over here. Now these are studio monitoring headphones. They have a very different sound profile than say your AirPods Max or your uh, you know, Sony XM3s. So they're very neutral when it comes to the sound, so you don't hear any exaggerated bass or trebles or anything. And they're amazing for monitoring music, if you're singing, or if you are recording a piece of guitar and you wanna hear exactly how it sounds. These are really, really good. So it's the Sony MDR7506 and they are fantastic. These are all things that I've bought many years ago. So like these last for a really long time, they are expensive. I mean, the speakers are relatively cheap around $120 or so, but the headphones do cost close to $300. And the M Audio device when I bought it was $300, which was extremely expensive for me. Focusrite makes a really good one, which I would recommend. So. I'll leave a link for that in the description if you're looking to get an audio setup like this. Now the next thing uh, in the setup, which is a key part of this whole thing for me, is the camera system that I have going on. So I have an A6000 camera. So this was my first nice camera that I ever bought. It's a Sony APS-C size crop sensor camera. 
and it gives you amazing picture quality, especially with the right lens on it. Right now I have the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 aperture lens on this thing. It looks absolutely brilliant. And I've used a Elgato Cam Link, which is a USB to HDMI interface, which you can read any HDMI signal and convert it into a digital signal so that your computer can understand it. So this thing feeds directly into my computer and is used as my webcam for filming my B-roll in all these YouTube videos. I have it connected to an arm so I can bring it out and shoot top-down shots. Most of my top-down shots are shot with this thing on this desk right here. So this whole idea I had about setting this up over here permanently has been amazing. It's permanently powered on. I don't have to fiddle with any cables or anything. I use OBS. Uh, OBS is a great free software that you can use to live stream or record video signals directly into your computer. So I use OBS to record all that stuff. It records the audio as well as the video. There's tons of customizability in OBS. So it's an amazing free tool. I would definitely recommend it. The next part is my mic. So this is permanently connected to a boom arm like this. Uh, it's a USB mic. This one is the Blue Yeti. You get very good sound quality from it. We've been using it to record podcasts. Uh, I use it when I'm live streaming or if I'm on an audio call. And every time I'm live streaming from this setup, I always will get a comment saying, ooh, that looks really nice. Your place looks really cool. And it's because of the audio and video quality you're getting from this camera over here and this mic system. An integral part of this whole setup is the desk over here. This is an IKEA hack. So we've got the IKEA Alex drawers over here and this is actually an IKEA kitchen countertop. Now I don't remember the exact name of it. I'll leave the link in the description. This thing is really long but relatively thin and just the right amount of space to house the three monitors as well as my keyboard and mouse comfortably. And it doesn't take up a lot of room in this small little studio I have in my house. This is a small bedroom that I've converted into a studio. It gives me a tremendous amount of space. I just lose maybe two feet from the wall. And uh, you know, this whole setup is kind of on this desk. Plus I get all the additional drawer space to keep all my stuff and gadgets and cables and all those kinds of things. So this whole desk setup has been absolutely one of the best investments that I've ever done. Now, uh, you guys might be wondering, what do I do with three monitors? Like, what is the point of having a triple monitor setup? Now, I'm running this triple monitor setup off an iMac, so it's not exactly designed for gaming. And I'm not much of a PC gamer myself. I mostly game on consoles like the PS5, Xbox. I have that hooked up to a nice 65 inch TV and that's the way I enjoy playing. I'm more of a casual gamer. I used to be a big PC gamer head and I used to buy all the graphics cards and build the computers myself. I've always been a geek in that sense, but since consoles have become so good and easy to use and I decided to switch to Apple computers, they don't game so well, so this triple monitor setup is not meant for gaming. What do I do with three monitors? So uh, very often I will have one monitor just dedicated to email or potentially YouTube, either one of those. So when I'm working on something else, I just have YouTube playing in the background. One monitor will just always have YouTube or email on it. It depends on what's happening at the time. The other two monitors are usually used for productivity. So it's very, very nice to have your document that you're working on or your presentation or your software project or whatever it is on one screen and then have a completely separate screen for your uh, research. Like I have a Chrome browser open or I have Safari open and I'm researching things that I want to include in my document or in my YouTube video or something like that. It's super helpful to have those three separate screens with separate workspaces. It just gives you a little bit more mental clarity, at least for me, having the segregation of each screen being for a separate task really is very helpful. It's the reason I didn't go for an ultra wide monitor. Uh, you'll see a lot of YouTubers have like an ultra wide in the middle and those are really good for video editing. And I was considering switching one of these to an ultra wide, but I think that would look a little ridiculous considering it's already quite big. Uh, if you see it in real life, it's actually almost, uh, you know, five feet of screens over here. But I don't really miss the ultra wide and I'll tell you why. It's because when I'm doing video editing, I'll have one screen which is 
just full of all my clips. And the second screen is gonna have my Final Cut Pro timeline where I'm just editing and I can see what's happening in the edited workflow. So it's very easy for me to work back and forth over here when I'm doing video editing. These two screens are for the editing. And then on this screen, I'll have my research or if I want to listen to some music or whatever it is, just so that I don't have to minimize my final cut or move it around. It's always in full screen mode. It's always dedicated for that purpose. Now, the next thing that I do with the triple screens is audio recording. So this is how I prefer recording. I kind of do it in, as like a live set kind of thing. So I'm recording and singing at the same time while I'm recording. So I'm not like editing my audio in uh, Logic or something like that. And then uh, exporting a video on top of it. It's like a live performance kind of thing. So the way that I do it is that I have Logic open. I've configured the computer to output the sound to OBS. OBS is recording my video side of things and Logic is feeding, uh, you know, the guitar effects and the sound effects and the mic sound effects and everything into OBS. So I just click one button and you know, I have uh, like a pre-made video with video and audio. In that situation, I'll have one screen for Logic, one screen for OBS to see what it's recording. And the third screen is probably gonna be like lyrics or chords or something like that if I just wanna have it up while I'm singing. So it just makes it a very easy uh, thing to do to record with something like this. I also do the same thing with for talking head videos. For example, I'll have OBS on one screen while I'm talking on the mic. Sometimes I'm doing live streaming, but I'm live streaming to YouTube. And I have the camera over here, which is recording my audio and video going through OBS into YouTube live. And then I have the YouTube live studio in another screen. And on the third screen, I might have some talking points. So I have used many different computer setups. I've had the dual monitor display. I've had a dual monitor with a wide screen. I've had just the wide screen monitor. And I don't like a few things about the ultra wides. It's just, it feels more cluttered, you know, to have everything on one giant screen versus like having a segregation between the screens. It's just easier to keep track mentally of everything that's happening on your computer. And if you're a crazy multitasker like I am, you know, definitely recommend at least considering a triple monitor setup, if not a double monitor setup for sure. Let me know what you guys think of the triple monitor setup. Do you think it's excessive or do you think it's cool? I personally love it. And I think it gives a nice background to some of my videos. It just makes it look kind of cool. That's it for this video. If you guys liked it, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next one.